Hi there, welcome in another video of Ansible series. Today we're going to talk about loops. Loops in Ansible are used to repeat a certain task multiple times. And since Ansible 2.5 release, to perform a loop, we should be using the loop keyword instead of the legacy with underscore lookup syntax. And what you can see here in the text editor are two examples, uh, which basically, the first one uses the old syntax with underscore list. A keyword and the second one uses the, the one that we should be using uh, right now. So the, this is the loop keyword. And these two simple tasks basically do the same. They create two users um, on our remote system. And the way it works, so before uh, we go to uh, our second example, let me actually, let me comment this out because uh, we're not going to use this syntax in our video. Uh, we're going to stick with the new mm, syntax with the loop keyword. And this basic task creates, as I've mentioned, two users on our remote system. And to perform a loop in Ansible, we need to specify this loop keyword at the same indentation level as our task definition. And uh, we're passing to this loop a list of users. So in our case, this is Mike and Joe. And here in the name parameter, we're referring to each item in the list using this item variable. So that's how we are referring to each item in the list. This way, we are going to be able to uh, create two users. Uh, if we had like, we could have like, you know, multiple users here. And this is the advantage of using loops in any language. And so we don't have to repeat these tasks all over again. All right, so uh, now that we have it, let's actually create a simple playbook that will create a users on our um, node1.lab.com machine. And we'll create some groups as well uh, for these users and see how this all works. So let me actually create here a new file. I'm gonna call it create users. Actually, let me put underscore here create users.yaml and we're going to mark the beginning of our file as always. We're going to specify our host button and nothing has changed in this respect. We're still going to use the node1.lab.com machine and before we specify our tasks, let's define some variables here. So um, let's call this users and we're going to pass a list of users here uh, that we will be creating on our remote machine. So let's create Steve. Let's create Mike and let's create Dave. And this is our first variable. The second one will be uh, our groups. So we will create uh, some groups as well on our remote machine. And please know that I'm not using the groups um, variable name because uh, this is a built-in uh, keyword and we would basically get an error if we employ that. So I'm going to create two groups. The first one, we're going to call it Contesters, and the second one will be called Developers. All right, so now that we have our groups, we can define our tasks. So let me go back up here. We're going to define some tasks. And let's name the first task Create Groups. And all right, I need to fix that, Create Groups. All right, so to create a group, in Ansible, we can use the group module and we're going to pass a name parameter and we're going to pass a state parameter. All right, so uh, since we will be using the loop in our uh, example, we can define or put our variable here using the item name because as I mentioned in our previous example, we'll be referring to each item in our list using this item variable. So now that we have it, let's specify the state and we're going to set it to present since we want to be explicit about what we're doing. And here we're going to set, we're going to define our loop uh, keyword. And please note that this is at the same indentation level as our task definition. So uh, we want to pass here the name of our list. So this is going to be my groups. This way, we're going to create two groups on our remote node 
end testers and developers. And as I've mentioned, this item variable will refer to each item in our list. And this list is defined in the var section. So we could as well uh, attach a file with variables uh, to our playbook, but we're using this var section to define our variables. All right, so we're gonna now create another. Let's make a space actually here for better visibility. And we're gonna call it create users. And to create a user, as you can see, we can use the user module and we're gonna specify the name parameter and we're gonna define the same item, a variable name here, and this is gonna be item. And it takes state parameter as well. This is gonna be present. And we're gonna add these users, all these users, Steve, Mike, and Dave, to pen testers groups. And let's not forget about the loop keyword. And we're passing in the list of users here to our, very, to our loop. So this is gonna be users. And that would be it. Let's mark the end of our file. And I'm gonna copy it right now and I'm gonna open my terminal. So iTerm, all right. So I'm now on my Ansible controller here and let me see where we're at. All right, so we're gonna simply create a file called createUsers.yaml and we're gonna paste in the content of our playbook that we wrote in Sublime Text. All right, so now that we have it, let's see if everything is correct. So we have our host defined, our variables, and our two tasks. Okay, so this is using the group module and this is using the user module. So this looks good, so let's see. Let's save and exit. And let's simply run this playbook and see what we get. This shouldn't take long since this is a very short playbook. So as you can see, we have our two groups already created and there we go. We have our three users as well on our remote machine. So this works perfectly fine as you could see. Um, but let me show you what we, what, we, what we would have to do if we wanted to add, for example, Steve to pen tester groups and Mike to developers. So I have another example here that uses a list of hashes. And let's say that we wanted to add Mike to developers. So in this case, we would have to employ a list of hashes. So um, we have a list here as well, but this time we're specifying the name of our user separately and the group to which we want to add these users separately. So this way we want to, we are able to differentiate between users and groups. And that's how we can add certain users uh, to only uh, certain groups. And actually that would be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section and take care. Bye bye.